Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and I'm back again with Drunken Mr. Paul! And I'm here to play tonight! Yep, I've invaded the Metal Jesus Man Cave, and we're gonna go old school and play some uh, original Xbox games, and I have chosen tonight... That's right! Mech Assault. And why Mech Assault? Well, the, you like this one. I love Mech Assault. Yeah. I like mech games in general. I mean, I love playing Earth Siege 2 and Star Siege back in the day. Mech Warrior 2 back in the day. Actually, I never played any of the Mech Warrior games. Oh, so good. So yeah, good. but they came out a uh, Mech Assault on the consoles. Yeah. And so I started playing them. And this is one of my top 10 games that I just go back to over and over again. It's, it's just a ton of fun to play, and we're going to play it tonight. Mostly for me, but a little bit. For and me. I was going to say it's going to be mostly him because while I played this when it first came out, it's been so long, and I know he's a master at this. So I'm going to. Well, master's a strong word. <laughs> I prefer demigod. <laughs> That's right. So I'm going to be seeing this kind of like for the first time in a while. So this is going to be pretty cool. And one of the great things about this is uh, this type of game where you can watch it. They do set it up yeah. as kind of a movie. Yeah. So that it's kind of like watching my favorite movie over and over again, except I get to be in it. That's so this right. is going to rule. All right. So where do you? want to start with this? Well, I'm going to start with a beer. Okay. Mm. Powder Hound. And for me, it's Iron Horse. It is Irish Death. Yes. Yeah, I know. One of our favorites. Yeah, I was thinking this, like, I wish they would sponsor my videos. I was thinking <laughs> that the other night. of like, you know what I mean? It's like other people do Dollar Shave Club or all this stuff. No, I want Iron, Iron Horse. Horse. Yeah, I, hey, I have a card for one of their distributors. I, yeah, I, know. I was down at the bar and she showed up and she wants it's to... so good. It's so good. We should. Do, we'll just start streaming live from the uh, bar over in Ellensburg until they tell us to go away or give us a sponsorship. Oh, uh, that sounds like a great idea. All right. So, ah, back. We're playing games for you guys. Yeah. So, where do you want to start with this? Well, uh, I was thinking about whether to go through all the opening videos and stuff, and it, it'd be a little tedious for you guys to watch. But I think it's kind of important to see the first video, the whole introductory video on it. Because, you know, like, like you mentioned, this is very story driven. Yeah, very much so. Okay. And yes, yeah, so we'll show you the opening video, and then. We'll go from there. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask questions too, so All right. you know, we'll, 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 be, we'll be jabbering here. All right, so Planetfall, the very first one. Okay. Now, is this based, this is based on a license though, correct? I, the I the think, Mech Assault license? I think it is. I think it's actually the same Mech Warrior world. Okay. But it turned Mech Assault for the uh, Xbox. I've got our orders. Okay. So those buttons the just stare at you. Those, those, those character models, mm -hmm. that that was so of the time. Oh my God, you know, yeah. Were they like kind of plasticky? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. but not bad. I mean, no, 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 it, it holds up actually. Yeah, I've, I've seen worse today. That's true. Yeah. In fact, uh, some of the, the ones that go even a little more cartoony are almost more believable. Because if you if you go for realism oh, and you oh, miss, it looks weird. Yeah, that's true. True. When they, yeah, you're you're right. It's because they can't go all the way realistic. Right. Sometimes it's like it's a bit of a turnoff. Because yeah, yeah. Where, yeah. But this is is obviously yeah. animated. So yeah. I I don't mind this look. You know, of course I'm of this era, right? It's like this is what we had. Yep. Mecha salt. Dun, 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 dun. So because we have some save games, it'll loop back to the save menu instead of just moving to the next one. Okay. So the storyline is basically, if you haven't played this, um, we're a mech uh, uh, team that are sent in, we're to call the Dragoons, uh, Wolf Dragoons, and we're sent into trouble spots. It's almost like we're mercenaries, it doesn't really explain. Hmm. But uh, we talked about getting our paycheck, etc. And we're some we're at this planet for some reason, and our ship always gets shot down. We're always <laughs> crashing. So okay. we're, we're going to land here. We get detected, and we get shot, and then we crash. And uh, then now this is the first mission. It's kind of a tutorial Foster, mission. I need that damage report now. Okay, Captain. So, I have bad news talks about questions. what happened. About bad we landed, we crashed. Foster is the tech that puts things together. So again, it's it's story driven, which is why I'm talking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm glad you are actually. And uh, we can do remember. we can do a full if we want to do the whole thing. Doing one mission would take like uh, 20 minutes to go through all the animations. And you, you can do that on your own. Okay. Play amongst yourselves. <laughs> So basically, we're looking for our other uh, other groups, the okay. Bravo Lance, and I get to go recon the area with the tiniest mech. So we're going to skip that. It's a cougar. Cougar. I'm, I'm good at cougars. <laughs> and if, if you want somebody to really, really run a cougar well, <laughs> you, you're talking to me. By the way, we're playing this on a modded Xbox, so it's ripped to its hard drive, which is really nice. Very nice. So that's why the load screens are so fast. Yeah. Wait, you took parts from the heavy mechs to fix the light mech? 
Yeah, that was smart. Hmm. They, they can't give me a heavy mech right away. For the right, plane, right. But. Now, normally I would just blow through this level, but I'm actually going to slow down at places because it, it does give you ideas of what to do next. That's just giving you a tutorial on how to do shit. Can I shoot that down? I want to shoot that down. Oh, it didn't let me lock on. Infantry! Did you just stomp them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're a little screamed. Yeah. Hey, dude. Oh, missed him. He got lucky. He's running. He's a runner. There you go. <laughs> so they do a really good job of a tutorial in this. They just make it part of the mission. Yeah, I remember this level. Yeah. Level it. So, ba flatten it, huh? Yep. They don't know, she doesn't know who this is. So she doesn't know who these people are? She just they must die. Yeah, basically. Okay. Well, part of it is, you know, they're shooting. Get it. I like to pick those things off. Do you? I do. <laughs> it doesn't matter one iota to the game, but yeah. I like, it's a challenge to pick those off on the way. All right. It's one of those things when you play the game an awful lot. Yeah. It, you just entertain yourself yeah. like, can I do this? Yeah. More you know? challenges. Yeah. So that's my rockets. I'm switching with my left trigger to my different weapon systems. You know, this game still looks good. I mean, oh, it really oh, does. Yes. Oh yeah, okay, destructible environments, that's cool. Very much so. My gauss cannon. Your gas cannon? Gauss? Gauss, it's a rail gun. Okay. Okay, you're picking up salvage here. Yeah, salvage, you have infinite ammo, but you can pick up upgrades that will make them more powerful. Okay. Now listen to this, what she says about these infantry, you'll love it. Wow, she's cold-hearted, man. And you oblige. Oh, of course. <laughs> Confirmed. Supply convoy it is. Hi, guys. So rockets are great for locking on. They just don't re reload very often. Okay. Energy weapons to fire faster, but they don't do as much damage. So wait, you're telling me that you land on this planet. Oh, oh they shot you down. They shot me. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So they, they, they drew for They started blood. it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They do first blood, sir. He got it. You did do it for blood. Yeah, I, that was my, my best worst they, one. They do for blood. They do first blood, sir. <laughs> They're both bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> They're going to hell. They're going to hell and you die. Then you have ground weaponry as well. Hmm. You got to deal with uh, other mechs, tanks. You're welcome. And it's usually good to knock down any tunnels so they can't come after you. Okay. Hi guys. And in general, strategy-wise, anything like machine guns and the Gauss cannon, anything that shoots a projectile, is better against armor, like tanks and stuff. Mm, okay. So it's, that's kind of a, a trope for every mech game I've ever played. Mm. Now, I know the, some, some of the mech games that were made really had a strong upgrade path, like like you could modify almost everything of your mech. Right, right. This is simpler. You, okay. you can't actually modify the mechs, but you can select different ones for different missions as you as you collect them basically okay. through the game, and they have different and, abilities. And can you can you put different weapons on the mech? No, so, you oh, can't. They're okay. pre-configured for your convenience. Okay. Get it? Ah, I got him. I love picking those guys up when they try to run away. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> no survivors, no remorse. No survivors. I'm the Dwarf Pirate Roberts. But um, in other games, you could modify the mechs, and yeah. in the next one. In Mecha Assault 2, which we might play sometime, you don't even get to choose a mech. They just uh, select it for for you. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, that's some sort of hybrid power armor. Hybrid oh power no, armor. not hybrid power armor. It's like Starship Troopers, kinda. It, it is, except this is good. Hey, Starship Troopers, the movie, I will argue, is good. Ah, it's a terrible movie. You, yet no. I'm not. I'm not saying I don't watch it every damn time it's on, but it's... 
It, ha it has grown on me over the years. Has it? Wow, it that's, has. that's that's saying a lot. Because yeah. I remember when that movie first oh, came out, and I tried telling you that I thought I liked it. Yeah, it you were horrified. It, it was such a such a bad movie. It is a bad movie, but there's something about it. Like, yeah, there it's so is. quotable. Yeah. Plus, I mean, let's be honest, it's got some nice boobies in there. It does. It does. You know. You know, full frontal nudity shower scene. I mean, for everybody. <laughs> Hi, guys. Power armor. Didn't help him much. No. Although, I do remember the first time I played this game. It took me a couple times to get through that level. Oh, really? Yeah. And that's uh, another nice thing about these games. I played it a lot, so I know how to get through all the levels, but... The first time through, it was a really nice level of challenging. Hmm. And I didn't don't have to bitch too much about the save points. They aren't the best in places, but but it's not super frustrating. Though. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you like this one better than the sequel? Then Mech Assault Two. Yeah. I like them both. I um, Mech Assault Two has a lot going for it. They introduced a, a couple new mechanics like hacking and you have your own set of power armor. Mm. And those are okay. Their save points weren't that great. Hacking? Hmm? hacking. Yeah, you, you like can, you walk up to a terminal and hack it? No, you walk up to a mech and hack it. Oh, okay. You that's jump cool. up and grab it and you can hack it and steal their mech. Oh, okay. Huh, that's cool. So there we go. That was the tutorial mission. Stuff blew up really good there. Yes. So th this obviously did really well. It's a platinum hit. So, yeah. So, you know, so, okay. Yeah, it's interesting because, I mean, Microsoft published this. So it's a Microsoft mm -hmm. game. Yeah. So that was a tutorial mission. Um, I'm going to kind of skip ahead because okay. these other ones are, are okay. But uh, unless you want to sit here playing all night, uh, basically the story now is we're working out who the hell's here. And uh, the the word of Blake is the enemy. And Word I don't, of Blake. I don't know if that's a uh, carryover from the other games or not, but Word of Blake shows up a lot in this. And... Uh, now we're getting a signal from some rebels fighting against the word of Blake, need help, and we're going to go help them out. Okay. So. Foster's been receiving communications from a resistance group actively fighting the word of Blake. I already told them that. You don't need to tell them that. <laughs> Moving on. So here, you choose the mission, and then you can choose whatever mech they have set up. And usually it's a... The next one is just a variation on the one you're on. So the Cougar was a scout mech. Now I'm going to go with the Puma. Um, and it has a PPC weapon, which is another big energy weapon. Hmm. Okay. Usually, the missions are tailored towards whatever next mech they're, they've given you. Yeah. But if you want more of a challenge, you can use any of the ones you want. Hmm. It's fun when you get it to the ones where you get to use, like, the Atlas. Is that the, the, the big... That's a, that's a monstrous one. Okay, this is all sounding like licensed mech stuff. I think this is... And we should probably look this up, but I'm pretty sure it is licensed stuff. Because... Um, I remember playing, like, again, Mech Warrior, which I think had the same type of stuff. Also, the, the, everything would, would come down in that round ship. Yeah, the Icarus. Yeah. yeah. Is this the same mission? No. Nope. Okay. okay. Wow. Oh, so I hit my, my uh, extra weapon, so I have a stealth mode. And oh. You do that by pushing down on a thumbstick. Which I do a lot just naturally when I'm playing. That's why the, I'm always honking the horn. <laughs> In driving games? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So here's here's the energy weapon. You can charge it up and then Rotating let him eat plasma. In the suburbs, across the river. Check it out. suburbs where the soccer moms are? Yep. Okay. I was trying, I don't want to jump jets to have the, the stealthy thing. Yeah. A lot of circle battles. I was going to say st strafing. Yeah. Yeah, back sideways. Yeah. Which actually is really fun, though, you know? That's a uh, minigun. A couple of missions I've been able to pick this guy up before he gets too far away. Tough. Yep. Got him. And if you're too close, oh, okay. that will destroy you too. And then you get to feast upon his rotting corpse. <laughs> Who just shot me in the ass? Oh, you. 
You're like, didn't you see this big mech I just took down? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I do have jump jets. Okay, good. And death. There's a depot. I'm going to play this as if it's the first time because I know it's sneaky ways around this. So. Oh, we'll just battle. I mean, look, power armor. You know, Microsoft has these classic franchises like this one, Crimson Skies. Yep. They need to bring these back. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, us, us old time. Xbox players, you know, you want us to get an Xbox One, put these on there. I mean, you'd go out yeah. and buy it instantly, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And the, the thing is, I don't understand why they don't bring these worlds back. I mean, just the worlds themselves are awesome. I wonder if they've got marketing people going, nah, you know, they, they do some sort of marketing research and they're like, ah, people aren't into it anymore. It's all Fortnite and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So maybe they, they I, I, I'm just guessing, but maybe they, they look at the numbers and think it's not worth it or something I don't know I, I don't know they how they upgrade their sports games every year so yeah I can't but they sell every year yeah you know FIFA and Madden stuff you know people have to have the latest rosters they need the latest roster of, uh, uh, of pilots for yeah. uh, mecha Salt. yeah actually I think they should do an open world yeah I could see that So over here, there's a bunch of supplies and shit. Yeah, I saw that. Which usually means I might need those later. I know. It's, it's like when they give you a bunch of health packs. You're like, yeah, uh -oh, like, uh, all right, uh, uh, quick save. Hmm. Is that that? Is, it, is that a different one? Okay. Boats, minions. What kind of city has no people in it? Good. Multiple contacts, including another Blake Mac. They were waiting for us. Let's see if I can pull this neat trick. Can you take what are you doing? Oh, can you take out the bridge? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, and he didn't die! I thought he was gonna well, float away. Well, other times every time I played this before, if you take out the bridge underneath them, it kills them. Oh. It's like an instant death. It's a one one uh, one shot. That's cool how they explode like Yeah. That. Mine. I feast upon your flesh. Oh, that's a, that's the first time I've taken out a bridge underneath a, uh, a mech and it didn't kill them. Wow. Mm. That was my, my sneaky thing I was going to show off. Well. Hi. That almost looks like a taxi cab. Yeah, they do. They, look, or they do look like taxi cabs. Yeah. And if you get close enough where the, the reticle turns red on the uh, um, the Gatling gun, mm -hmm. it does a ton of damage to a... Uh, hey, dude. A ton of damage to um, uh, tanks and armored things. I do know that if you're on top of a, a building and it gets destroyed, you die. Oh, really? Yeah. You, you don't, like, surf it down? Nope. Huh. Hey, dude. Yeah, is that a tank or is that a? It's a tank. Okay, they're just painted like taxi cabs. Yeah, or like an Uber. It's like the, yeah. the, the Uber Uber death the Uber ride from hell. I just need to go to the mall. Well, on the way, I'm gonna attack this <laughs> huge battle robot. Sir, another transmission from the resistance. Sneaky ways around this. Didn't get there in time. And by the way, you can't. Yeah. Is there any penalty for taking other buildings, or is that just fun? It's just fun. We'll use them for a... Uh, for cover. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Something you can do, though, is hide in trees. Mm. Because it, it shields you. They can't shoot through trees. Okay. You do things like this, charge weapon, charge weapon, charge weapon, hi. And hi, close range. Yeah, I dig all the physics, like like he just knocked some car or something like that. And you kick it forever? Yeah.
got to do it. And his explosion just took out that building. Oh yeah, that's cool. So if you can knock one of them out next to its buddy, it will also destroy uh, the other mech, which is nice. Full charge! Ah, it's gonna sting. Uh, you got something on your face. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he's tough. He's wily. Yeah. He's also scrap. Do you ever die in this game anymore? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I'm surprised I haven't. Haven't taken more damage. Because you're just that good. Badassery! I blame the beer. <laughs> it's that fine line, yeah. right? It's yeah. Like just enough to, to loosen you up, not yeah. enough to make you stupid. Make you stupid, yeah. I think we're playing this on normal mode, too, which is what I normally play on. One more thing I need to take out. Where is it? I don't see anything on radar. Or is, it, is that... I don't know what I'm looking at there. I'm not seeing anything either. Usually when you clean this up, then you're you're done with the mission. I'm guessing I've left a, a either uh, a tank a witness. or a, yeah, <laughs> leave no witnesses. Where are you? I'm looking for you. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're blinking now. Oh, okay. Oh, the dude's in the power armor. Yeah, th this still runs really good too on the oh, Xbox. Yeah. I mean, it looks looks good, runs good. Captain, get back to the Icarus. The board of Blake is up to something beyond their normal tricks. We walked into this hornet's nest, and I intend that we all walk out. <laughs> what the hell are they up to? On if I see a mech coming towards me, okay, that guy ran. I mean, yeah, yeah you run. Okay. And it, oh, it, saved. Uh, and and not in a line. You, you zigzag. Yeah. You know, I I, I don't. I don't know. You know, I've never had it happen to me, but I'm just saying, <laughs> if it does, I'm gonna do a zigzag. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I think the uh, the key there is if I am on the ground with a, a shotgun in my hand and I see one of those running around, yeah, yeah, yeah. regardless of whose side it's on, I may just drop to my knees and pray. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna left right as far away as possible because my guys in the mech they aren't gonna see me either. They yeah, don't th care. That, that's true. It's like dink. Yeah. yeah. And then at the end of the mission, their 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 mech's foot is up on the curb, scraping me <laughs> off like dog shit. Yeah. <sighs> All right, let's do one more. Okay. This is good. All right. You better beer bitch me, though. I know. We're, okay, beer bitch. I'll be back. You can go beer bitch. I'll okay. get this set up All for right, you guys. You, you can talk about Hurry. me. Hurry! I'm working. Foster, what do you want? The same thing. Okay. I have our Uziel that was damaged in the crash up and running. Okay, yeah, this is a good one. I think this is the kind of the boss battle, the end of this chapter for uh, for this area on the planet. So this this will be fun. It's a good one. I, I may die on this one. I don't know. It's about fifty fifty for me. <sighs> it, it, it's kind of nice when when he's gone, isn't it? It's such a good one. <sighs> don't know how that uh, that smell, that um, high karate aftershave that he wears. I mean, it, it's okay. It's reminiscent in the beginning, but then. You know, it, it does kind of make your, your your nose hairs grow a little bit, so it, it's fine. We, we won't don't say anything. Don't say anything when he comes back. He's a little sensitive, but um, he bought that that uh, that case of high karate back in the uh, in the seventies and has, hasn't gone through it yet. Anyway, let's see what we can do about uh, blowing up more shit. Oh, my beer's empty. There you go, just in time. Look at that. Oh, I'm, that, I'm like a medic. You're a medic. All right, I'm gonna try it too. So it's All right. Powder Hound. Yeah, Powder Hound Winter Ale by Big Sky Brewing Company, same place that does Moose Drool. Mm -hmm. So I was just telling them that this, I think this is the, the last mission of the, kind of this segment. Okay. So it's, it's a pretty long one and it's got a good boss battle in the end. We're gonna go with the Uziel. Well, you have to impress Susie here. Cause... All right. Oh, Susie Q. Oh, Susie Baby, Q. I love you. And Susie. you like to drool. Susie Q. Bow, She's bow, like, Susie, bow, you got bow. some funky smells going on there, buddy. Yeah, we were just talking about that. 
while you're out of the room. I definitely have some funky smells. Yeah. See, I told you guys. It's true. You do too. Mm. All right. Mm. Watch the Tourette's. It's raining. It's snoring. The old man is pouring. Oh my god, I got oh, that I'm so backwards. Susie love. I know. She's like, All right. she's like, make love, not war. I also found that it's really not a good idea to ignore these turrets. You know, they're just turrets shooting at you. I hate getting killed by minions. <laughs> it's so insulting. Oh, right? it is. Since I'm just not worried about the tanks and everything. Next thing you know, you've been looking at your health. Yeah, it's it's, it's the, the dwindle. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like... I'm getting some good Susie Levin going on here. You feel like Jim in Blazing Saddles. Little bastard shot me in the ass. <laughs> A tank depot. Okay. So in this case, it's really worth it to ignore the tanks as best you can and take out the depot because it just keeps feeding them. There we go. Nice. Good work, wow, there's like a lot of stuff coming your way. Yeah, I know. I think I've got, yeah, I thought so. And this is how I die in these missions. I get excited and not pay attention and suddenly... Right. Your health is, what, halfway right there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm getting some puppy love. And you called it puppy love. <laughs> do, 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 do. <sighs> Don't be embarrassed that I sing Osmond songs or Donny Osmond songs. Was, was that the Osmonds? Oh, that was Donny Osmond. That no. was one of his big hits. I gotta be. I, I'm very happy I didn't know that. Yeah, by the way. yeah. The only, one I, the only one. The only one there's I know is, of course, Crazy Horses. And that's Osmond. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's like, are you hurt? <laughs> are you hurt? Yeah. Look for a little bit of health here. Oh, she's gonna come. She, see, she's she, she's gonna you look my face. <laughs> Yeah, here. <laughs> She's liking something. I know. <laughs> this is what's going to be impressive. I'm going to win this game while uh, being, why, why a dog's trying to while lick being dogged. Yeah. I know. I know. All this right. is why I don't get anything done. I know. There's over. too much doggy love. There's too much doggy love. Okay. Going for the airport. Yeah, you don't let anyone take off. So there's nobody out here to help you with this? Oh no. Okay. You're you're a lone yeah. guy. One man. In a world, one, yeah. In a world, one man with one mech <laughs> and one dog. Come on, I get all these guys in one tongue. pass. Helicopters are also a pain in the ass. Get a lock. Bye bye. Ooh, Ooh, that's gotta hurt. He was, he was, he was heading for you. Yep. All oh, right, we have a helicopter depot over here. We gotta take down. It smell, uh, it, it smells or it tastes piney. Yep. A lot of winter eels do. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, were, were you gonna go somewhere? I know. Okay. That would be your sister. So basically, these people who shot down your 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 craft, yeah, they're or a blimp. They're uh, they're regretting it big time. They don't seem to be. They keep <laughs> coming back. So I don't think there's quite enough regret going on here. Yeah. I'm I'm hoping to instill a little more regret. You would think so. Like if you slaughter millions, you'd be like maybe that was a bad idea. Yeah. Get a little upgrade here. 
I already have enough health. Okay. Here we go. Moving on. Oh. Bearing up. up. Bearing up. Very piney. It's good. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I think we get some more energy weapon here. Another thing is, gotta be careful in these buildings, because if you knock it down while you're inside, you will die. Hmm. I don't know how shooting the drawbridge tower and destroying it actually lowers the tower, but okay. Yeah, was that built into its original design? Oh, it was like soccer there. That's yeah. Nice. I'm trying to into goal. Yep. Were you not able to jump across the the river? Oh, I could have. Okay. All right. Yeah, there's things like that in this game that. Okay, well. Die. Lower the drawbridge. You you know I've got jump jets, right? Oh, hey buddy. That's another map. It is. Are you gonna step on the bridge? I'll try to kill him on the bridge. Oh, no, he's stuck. Come on. Oh, here he is. Nope. All right. Little mono e mono here. Do you run away? I'm gonna go get some more health. A little, a little too much time whipping it out and hitting him with it there. I don't. Can I, can I say hit it with my dick on your channel? I don't know. We're gonna have to bleep that out. All right. Yeah. The seven words. <laughs> it's funny. The other day, I was talking to Rebecca, and we were talking about like, like, I can't wait for the, this link. I know. Well, we were talking <laughs> about, about the comedy albums growing up, uh -huh. and how. How did we ever listen to Eddie Murphy, Delirious, and, uh -huh. and you know, George Carlin back in the oh, day? Oh, yeah, Richard Jeez. Pryor? Yeah, I mean, it's like, of course, my parents didn't know, but I think, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's your answer. I know, but you, you know what I mean? It's like, uh -huh. you, I, yeah, I, I guess it was friends that kind of introduced us to that stuff, but, yeah. Where did that Met go? Oh, there he is. Haha. -ha. Where is he? He's hiding somewhere. Oh, you see him on the radar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I've got infinite rockets, so I'm tending to use those on soft targets. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I hear a helicopter. Yeah, I do too. Stop shooting me in the ass. All right. Oh, there he is. He's fast, too. Is it, is it the same model as yours? Yeah. Okay. He's on far. And now we scrap. And that is the coolest part right there. Yeah, it is close. a really cool effect. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> I think there's a, yeah, there's a helicopter depot up here i got to deal with. Again, I always love these minions that, that continue on the fight even after yeah. you've just taken out a boss or yeah. you know what I mean, the equivalent of a boss. Yeah. Like, who are these dedicated minions? Like, and how much are they paid? You know? Yeah. That's fanatics for you. I guess. Okay, are you guys just gonna line up for me nicely? Come on. I like how it, it heads towards you. That's cool. Uh huh. I don't think it'll actually damage you. Punt. <laughs> Just because you can. Punt. <laughs> it's good. Hi, guys. See this guy. Yeah. How much are they paid? Well, they aren't. That's why. 
What, do, do you think that's why they fight? Because no. they believe in it? Well, they think they're getting paid, but the thing is that I, they just get slaughtered, so they never have to actually get paid. Oh, I, I, think so, of, so I see. The evil overlord yeah, does that, that. Yeah, that's their management plan. I see. So if he kills them off within like 30 days, they, they haven't gone through payroll. Right. Okay. Pretty much. That makes sense. So you can promise them anything you want. That's <laughs> true. But if they only last 20 days or so. Yeah. Or 20 yeah. seconds. Yeah. That's a good plan. Uh-oh. It's a trap! Is this the next level? The next? This is the boss battle. Two of them? Yep. Oh. I know. Have you listed to my commander? She has no clue. <laughs> Maybe they're not listening to the radio. Or they're tuned into some other channel. Yeah. They don't listen to KEXP. No, no, no. They're, they're, they're listening to country or something like that. Just a good old boy. This seems a little bit uh, uh, not fair. It isn't, but life's not fair. That's a good attitude to take. Don't give up. Don't stop believing. Hold on to the feeling. Street lights. Mm, people are die. Oh, damn, I miss. I may be in trouble. Okay, go back there next to that thing. There you go. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, you can really hurt him if you uh, yeah, if you blow up towers and shit next to him. Also, I found that if at all possible, continue to concentrate your fire on one dude. Sure. Oh, I got him! Oh! I got him on that side shot, little side boob shot. There you go! Wow, alright, that was good. I actually thought you might die there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't care. There you go. Wow, okay, cool. Assault. That was fun. Yeah, that's a good time. It's, it's, it's fun watching you play it because you don't struggle like I would. <laughs> <laughs> There's fewer tears, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a great fun game, and you yeah. can set difficulty levels if you want to, so it's, yeah. it's not that, that tough. And, but it's a uh, it's a good storyline. They, they bring it along really well in these cutscenes. And, uh, yeah, we do go through this. That wasn't the last one of this area. Go through this, and then we move to... Oh, sorry, I have to take out orbital guns. There's a big orbital gun battle later on. Hmm. And then they, you go to a planet of fire and lava. Hmm. No, it, it, it's a ton of fun. Okay. Groovy. Well, ah, we'll I do like that game. Yeah, well, let us know if you want to see us play more of that, or possibly the second game. You know, or, Mech Assault 2. Or, or Barbie's Horse Adventure. That's always a possibility with us. So. I want them to do a mech version of Barbie's Horse Adventure. <laughs> Barbie's Mech Adventure. I would play that game. Yes. Yeah, with be... a mechanical can. <laughs> that's a different channel. Yeah, that, that's, that could get ugly. <sighs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Take care. Should I have them... Should I ask, like, where they can find you? I forgot to do that part. Well, you just did. Where can people find you? You can find me on uh, on YouTube. You can also find Because well, I know you're doing Twitch. That's why I said that. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm leading into that. Okay. Yeah. I'll shut up now. <sighs> Continue. <sighs> It's a lot of love in the room. Mm -hmm. It's like a brother to me. So I pants him whenever I can. <laughs> you can also find me on Twitch now. I stream uh, usually Friday nights at 6 o'clock on Twitch. I just do a sit around and chat and drink uh, thing. So if you want to come and hang out with DMP on Friday night for a happy hour, that's where you find me. It's uh, Twitch TV slash Drunken Master Paul. All right. 